You know, hardly a day goes by and we're not reminded that we are in the throes of a heated election season where religious intolerance is stealing a lot of the focus from the campaign trail. Well, um, in the Mormon book, it says there were a blackness camp on all the children of Canaan. That they were I'm sorry. We're just not going to have a discussion about religion, in my view. But I could, if you have a question, I'll be happy to answer your question. Do you believe it's a sin for a white man to marry and procreate with a black No. Next question. Mitt Romney taking questions there uh, about his faith. You know, LGBT and women's rights are also under attack from religious groups, and critics say those battles distract from issues like jobs and the economy. The good news is some church leaders are trying to rise above that fray. Joining me now, Pastor Jay Baker and Reverend Troy Perry join me in studio. Gentlemen, it's great to have you here, as religion has taken a dominant part of the conversation on the campaign trail. We hear that question being posed to Mitt Romney, being questioned about his faith of whether or not he believes in interracial marriage. Do you think that we're reaching a tipping point when it comes to the conversation of the LGBT community and whether their marriages are valid in the eyes of people who hide behind their faith? Reverend, I'll start with you. Absolutely, um, we're at that tipping point. Uh, I believe the wind is behind us. Uh, it used to be in front of us, but now it's behind us. My partner and I, we were married in Canada, came home, sued the state of California, and we won in the Supreme Court. We were the first male couple uh, with two female friends of ours who did that. And uh, I'm a person, a faith person. I believe, uh, you know, that uh, all of us can make a difference. But I have to explain to people that marriage isn't about religion. Religion. It's about the state. The state decides who I can marry and who I can't. Uh, now, I don't have to marry everybody in my church. They do tell me that. But they have to appoint me as a representative of the state for me to perform a ceremony. And getting pastors to do that, more and more coming to the forefront. Uh, churches now are performing same-sex um, and same-gender weddings. Pastor Baker, I want to point out to everybody, last night you were honored by PFLAG at their national gala here yeah. in New York, their Straight for Equality dinner. Uh, what's it like for you to be a straight ally? The religious background that you come from, I remind everybody, your parents are Jim and Tammy Faye Baker. Oh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's strange. At first, I, I've been doing this for about five and a half years. At first, it was just a, a complete fallout. Like, I, every speaking engagement I had got canceled. Um, but over time, I've seen such a change in the church, and uh, people are, are, are being more open, and embracing things, able to look at the Bible in a different way, realizing that the word homosexual wasn't even originally in the Bible, and those types of things are, are just starting to become common knowledge. So I think we're moving forward. I mean, I think when I started, it seemed like everybody kept saying 20, 30 years. And, you know, now I feel like five or ten. Do you think, though, we are reaching that tipping point? Again, like I said to the Reverend about the conversation where years ago people would come on talking about the fact they didn't believe in interracial marriage, they didn't believe in segregation. Those voices, you don't hear those today. Right. Bigoted voices may exist, but they aren't showcased on television. Do you think that we're reaching a tipping point like that in our media culture? I do. I think people are starting to realize that religion is not an excuse to be a bigot and um, I think we are we are definitely reaching a tipping point mm -hmm. all right well thank you gentlemen so much congratulations both were honored thank last you. night at PFLAG correct well, thank you no I presented you... the award to Jay excellent I'm, I'm the person who uh, gave him the uh, straight for equality and faith award the first one that PFLAG has done and I think our MC last night was Chris Hayes who's hosted yeah, that's up, correct. who's yeah. a great. great guy so Jay Baker thanks so much thank the you. Reverend Troy Perry gentlemen thank you